Hello there everyone, my name is Pitam Negi and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I will be talking to you about how to set up and customize templates and units for part, assembly and sheet metal. So without wasting more time, let's get started. So in my last video, I talk about some of the basic settings that we need to perform when we install our software. I introduce config.pro configuration file, which store our all settings. If you haven't watched my previous video, then you can watch my previous video. I have already added link in description below. Now we will add further more setting to our config.pro file. So before we start further more customization, let me just introduce you config.pro in more detail. So basically it's a text file having .pro extension and it store our all customization setting that we want to have for the all time. If you want to check your config.pro setting and file, then uh, you can go to file and then option and then in configuration editor. So here you can see the settings and the customization that I have applied to Creo. And you can see the default location is C user public documents. If you want to see your config.profile, then you need to go to this location. If you plan to upgrade your software or if you want to have same kind of setting to another machine. So simply copy this file and you can import your setting from here like this. Okay, so now without not wasting further more time, let's just talk about how to set up our templates. We're starting with template for solid part. So here you can see template underscore solid part. We need to modify the setting. Currently you can see here it is set to inches pound second. So what exactly we need to do is we can modify it as per our requirement. Click on browse. And I will tell you the default location that the template folder generally have. The general location of the template is program files, PTC, Creo 5, common file, and then templates. So here you can find all the default template that is available with software. So we will be accessing the same folder here. Program file, PTC, Creo 5, common file, and then here templates. Now from here we can select template of our choice. So I'm going to select millimeter, newton, second, part, solid, this one. Or you can choose millimeter, kg, second even let it be as it is if you use inch pound second as your standard unit system in my case i will choose millimeter newton second open it and here you can see i have changed the value to millimeter newton second now the same thing i will do with sheet metal part browse and here you can find out your sheet metal template. Like this one is for inches. And for mm, you can see here. So I can use this one. Now the last one is for assembly. So I'm going to use this one again. Now I will click on OK. So I want to save this setting for future. So I will click yes and I will modify my previous file. And that's all. Now let's just go to new and let it be as it is. And you can see here by default my template is millimeter newton second 
Now let's repeat this process with assembly. Now you can even see the unit of this assembly file is millimeter newton second. Now the last one is sheet metal. Here also we can check by going to prepare model property and here we can see it's millimeter newton second. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that I was able to explain you the procedure of setting default template. If yes then please subscribe to my channel so that you can watch other relevant videos. If no then please make a comment and I will try to reply you as soon as possible. And also it would be great if you can support me at Patreon and help me to grow this channel. And obviously you will receive extra benefit of supporting me at Patreon. In my next video of Learn Career from Zero, I will explain you about how we can customize our templates. And I will see you soon. Till then take care and bye bye.